Hello and welcome back to Leander98 channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make a 3D printable car in Blender. We're going to be using a 2019 Toyota GR86 as our template to make throughout the tutorial. So, without further ado, I present to you the 2024 modeling tutorial for 3D printing. Alrighty, it's the final step. We're going to make this into an RC car. Well, an RC car body shell. So let's begin. We're going to save this as because we don't want to ruin this. And we're going to put this on an X mod. Okay. So then we're, you are going to go and append. And we are going to get the collection of... Yes. The 3.6 clip mount template gonna go into the collection and we're gonna bring in the XMOD collection. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna size this up for a 90 millimeter chassis. We definitely don't need the wide configuration so we can hide the widest wheels. We can click on this and we're gonna put this to negative 90 for a 90 millimeter chassis. Uh, let's see. Usually this will get put to 70. I kind of wanted it like 68, but because of how much that side skirt sticks out, we kind of have to have it a little above. Maybe we'll go 69. I want it to be narrower, because it's a smaller car. For height, uh, for, yeah, for the height scale, we're going to go 1.4. Then for length... Well, that's over. Now let's see here. Go 1.32. Uh, let's see. I would like a good safe height for this. There. Okay. And then pretty much, we're going to modify our wheel wells so then we can fit the wheels. Oh, why did I have to shift click? Getting tight. Oh. We're going to have to shift that back. The reason why, and I have this right here, this is so then we can have a wheel well that is going to be open enough so then I can actually turn. Like, there are times that I've made cars and I can't steer. So that's always lovely. So I guess what we'll do... select all this and just yank it back if we put it on wireframe you can actually see everything better Close enough, is it? I guess so. Okay, good enough. Now, front clips, I want the RSX clip. Let's see, where are front tires? So, light blue 65 Mustang. This one's the G35. That's the Civic. That's the Lancer. And this is the RSX. Now the front end's kind of short, but I think we'll be okay. So how about we do the solidification first to make sure that we're actually going to fit. Get yourself the solidify command, and move it above the subdivide. 
This is very important. Something you should also know. I did put this in my other video. Get rid of this. But, solidify stacks on this, or scale stacks on that. So, this is 0.5, it's thickened 0.5 millimeters, but it's scaled in all these directions. So that means in terms of the width, this thickness is actually more like a 0 0.75, 0 0.7 kind of deal, like 0 0.6 in the length direction. So it's strange, but that's how that works. We'll hide our circle there. We'll take our side support. Uh, I hate having it right at the door. Bring that over, lift it up. Uh, <laughs> Gotta deal with all this. Whoa, did we surpass? Definitely got to be careful. This side supports pretty much just for like the side to side. Because the resin likes to bow, so at least having something that keeps it from bowing too much is good. This will be fun. Alright, so we're going to have to highlight everything but the side front face there. Scale it down in the X because this is going to be too skinny to use the bolt holes. Ooh, we're already busting through. How much are we sticking through? Not much, jeez. Smart idea to get a good, at least a good bond. All right, so that's flush there. Oh, why is... gonna cheat. That's better. Geez, she's moving chairs up there. This isn't going to be a part of the collection. Alright, let's continue this. Headlight tail light lenses. Um, 
it's always good to put the headlight in the very whatever headlight can let you use the farthest thing from the wheels Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so that all solidified. Pretty shallow, that's okay. Jeez, this car has a pretty short front end. Well, it's probably something that makes it good. Getting very short there. Place our front support. Ooh. Guess that needs to go in. Mm -hmm. I think we got everything. <clears throat> no, we don't. That rear wheel well. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna grab all this and we're gonna move it forward. Now yeah, we're good. Alrighty. <clears throat> well, hope you guys liked the tutorial. We put together a car pretty quickly here. Almost it was a uh, single sitting. Granted, I've been done that before, but it doesn't mean that stuff comes out the best I get. Whoa, wait, hold on. Oh, we got a poker. Hold on. We ain't done just yet, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's always an important step. Actually, look at what you just did. Okay. Look at it back with color again. Make sure that your wheels aren't gonna collide. We're good. And make sure that these little prongs here aren't sticking past this, which probably won't hurt to bring that out some. Because this butts right up against the sides of an X Mod Evo. So it's safe if that doesn't go beyond it, because those will touch too. Might even um, not be a bad thing to lift that too. Alright, I'd say it passes inspection. And then who knows when this will show up in the body review videos. Maybe February, maybe March. We'll see. All right. Oh, I guess there is one final step. So. 
Hide what you don't want exported. Select it all. Save. And export as STL. I guess we need that step. I'm going to title it Resin, just because I make two different versions. We want selection only, and we'll leave scale at 1. So then, we're going to open up Cheetah Box. This is the Resin 3D printing program I have. You can use any printing program you want. This even works with plastic FDM printing. The old school style. So we're going to load this up. And this will be the final test. Not if it opens or not, but we might see some black spots show up on this. So let's take a look. And we do. Okay. So our front fins, door handle, antenna, and exhaust. So practically everything <laughs> that we model. Hey, the wing mirror's not. That's good. But yeah. Okay, so how do we fix that? Well, we're going to come in here, select that, select that, select that, and select that. We're going to select everything. Mesh. Normals flip. And then export it again. So, delete that out. We exported that already. And load it back in. And we're good. Alright, that's everything you need to know on how to 3D print a car. At this point, it's all on you whether or not you know how to actually physically use a 3D printer. I don't have the video for that, but you're good to go from here on out. So, with that being said, I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.